is David Larson, and we're here in the heart of the Blue Ridge Mountains in Floyd County, Virginia, about six miles west of the Blue Ridge Parkway. I'm going to do a series of videos on basic electronics to teach you basic electronic principles. Um, you know, we have a series of videos of various types here, about 300 on our YouTube channel, and I have a few basic electronic ones, but I've had a lot of requests for basic electronics, and I taught basic electronics for many years at Virginia Tech. My uh, interest in electronics started in 1948 when I purchased a little crystal radio set and it was amazing to me to hear music just coming out of the air. I will talk a little bit more about our background, but let me tell you a little bit about what you're going to expect in this uh, basic series uh, of videos on electronics. We're going to teach you what is electricity, what is electricity, what are, what's voltage, current, ohms, ohms law. We're going to teach you about capacitors, series and parallel capacitors, about um, inductors, and about power, how to calculate wattage and what wattage means. may cover a few more topics, but those are basic electronics topics and very useful no matter what you are doing if you're using electronics or even electricity. Uh, these are good terms for you to use. A little bit more on my background. I studied electronics in high school as well as got the amateur radio license at age 15 in 1952. And after high school, I went in the Navy as an electronic technician for several years. And while in the Navy, they sent me to school at Remington Rand Univac in St. Paul, Minnesota to learn about computers. These were big tube type computers. So I learned a lot about computers and a lot about electronics while I was in the Navy. After the Navy, I went to school at Oregon State University in Corvallis, and there I studied a curriculum called Business and Technology. It was a combined engineering business degree. We studied business courses and engineering courses, and I enjoyed that a lot. I received a Bachelor of Science degree there, and after uh, that academic work, I went to work in the electronic industry, first for Raytheon in marine radio communications, and then I worked for Fairchild Instruments for a while, and then I worked for Varian Associates in heavy chemical instrumentation, that is big instruments, NMRs, gas chromatographs, and things like that. And during that time, I was a field engineer, and traveling around the country teaching people how to use these instruments and repair them and train uh, our own engineers on how to use them. And in the summer of 1966, there was an airline strike, and I was living in St. Louis, and at Virginia Tech they had a major problem, and they couldn't get anybody to come and repair some of their instruments. So I drove out from St. Louis to Virginia Tech and repaired the instruments, and uh, they were quite happy with that. And about six months later, I got a call from some folks there who said, you know, uh, come out and interview. We're looking for someone to teach uh, basic instrumentation and electronics to some of our folks. And, of course, I took uh, up that invitation, and it resulted in my being accepted as a faculty member and receiving tenure in 1973. I taught at Virginia Tech for 31 years, basic electronics and instrumentation and automation. I retired in 1998, but during that period of teaching there, really some very exciting things happened for me. I can't relate all of them, but just a few of them. Um, in the early 70s, we didn't find the kind of material we wanted, so we formed a small group and started creating our own instructional material, some books called the Bug Books. And as part of that, we started expanding, and we wanted to include many other topics, so we started to hire other writers. And one of the areas we didn't want to do our own writing, but we knew that there was material out there, was basic electronics. I knew the NCR Corporation, National Cash Register, had some wonderful teaching material. So I went out to see the NCR Corporation, and uh, the end result was we got the rights to use their material in our book series worldwide, and uh, just we had to let them have their in-house use of the material. And it was a very good book. And as uh, time went on, the book series was upgraded to the Blacksburg Continuing Education Series. You see that down here at the bottom, the Blacksburg Continuing Education Series. There was four of us that edited the series. And this is the same book, by the way. This is the book we'll be using in our course here on the video series, NCR Basic Electronics Course with Experiments. By the way, you can buy these books on Amazon.com. 
Uh, they run anywhere from a few dollars up to several hundred dollars for a collector's edition. Now, they've been out of print for over 30 years, so some of them, if they're in really nice condition, are selling for several hundred dollars as collector's edition, but you can buy a nice used copy, and I recommend you do that, even if you don't uh, follow my series here on the video, Basic Electronics. Very good material, easy reading, and uh, you can do the experiments, or you can just read the material and, and learn an awful lot that way, too. So. We're certainly looking forward to doing this series of videos. For those of you interested in learning a little basic electronics, we already have done a, several basic courses. And if you look at the bottom of this video and the text below it, you'll see the material we've done and how we plan to do this. And we'd also appreciate it if you follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And that information is listed below as well. And we do a microcomputer blog on our historical microcomputer collection. And we'll include some of this electronic material there as well. That's at microcomputermuseum.com. So we look toward, forward to doing this uh, series of videos. And by the way, the theme music you're hearing here in the background is done by my good friend Bernie Cubney called the Chantilly Shuffle. He wrote this song specifically for our festival farm called Chantilly Festival Farm. So I look forward to working with you and give me your feedback. Let me know what you think of the videos. Thank you so much for joining us here on YouTube.